Hey, this is Todd Luck coming at you from Winston-Salem, North Carolina with another Pokemon Go video. I just wanted to point out some gems that you may have seen if you were driving around the intersection of Bethebra Park Boulevard and Renolda Road. And I just wanted to show you guys how to get to these gems and where they're at. So here we go. The sign for a wildlife preserve is a gem. So I'm currently standing in the closest parking space at the shopping plaza across the street from the gym and I am not close enough so this is not a gym you can park and try to take. So right now I'm on the sidewalk in front of that shopping plaza and I'm across the street so you don't have to cross all these lanes of traffic to get to it. Just being on the sidewalk will let you be close enough to battle for the gym. So it is another one that you are going to have to be on the sidewalk to battle for. But as you can see, uh, people have gotten on the sidewalk and have done battle for it. And you're going to see several other gyms behind it, uh, behind the lake. And I'm going to show you how to get to those right now. One way is to keep going on this sidewalk until you reach a nature trail. So you're going to keep following the sidewalk over a bridge and to this nature trail right here which is also a pokey stop. And you're going to take the stairs down into the trail. At the bottom of these stairs, you're going to take a right onto this trail. The trail is actually going to take you underneath the bridge. And you're going to keep going down this beautiful nature trail. When you get to this intersection, you can take a left to go for a pokey stop. I'm not exactly certain what the pokey stop is supposed to be connected to. Um, you can get on this bridge, but I wouldn't advise going any further because as you can see it is roped off at the end there. But you can get it from here. Uh, this appears to be the wrong picture, but regardless, once you see this intersection, you can get the items and uh, replenish your pokeballs on, your, on the way here. And then you can continue down the main trail. At this intersection, you're going to take a left onto the bridge. And you're going to cross this extremely narrow bridge. And once you have crossed the bridge, you will be at the gym. Yes, in the middle of the wilderness on a nature trail. Actually, the intersection of several nature trails. This is your gym. You must walk through the woods for it. But as you can see, there have been others who have taken this journey and have claimed it. It's showing another gym close by. So we're going to take a right and head for it. And this path is going to be a little more narrow and wooded, but nonetheless very walkable also note that this trail is kind of muddy so you might want to bring some old shoes just a note at this intersection the right is a dead end but you can take the left to keep going and it is a pokey stop right here i'm not sure what plaque it's referring to it may be one that's no longer there after that, you're going to hit another intersection, and I'm going to follow the app and keep going left. And I'm going to keep following this wooded trail. The trail will lead you to this wooded area, and you're going to take a right following the app to the gym. You're very close. You're going to go through this shaded area. You're going to be able to get the gym from the path. You're not going to have to go into the woods. 
the actual millstone that is the gym is inside of the woods you can might be able to make it out through the bushes but you don't have to actually go into the bushes to get to it you can just get it on the trails that are surrounding it here's what it looks like if you did actually go in there you might be able to get a good look at it in the fall but as you can see people have come down here and claimed this gym and once you found the gym or reclaimed the gym you can just retrace your steps back to the path that you took uh, or you could keep going uh, though it'd be kind of a long walk and you'd end up at Historic Bethabra, which is another way to get to it if you start on the walking trails from Historic Bethabra. One thing to note is that the Pokemon along the way have not been plentiful, but um, some of them are pretty good, like this Slowpoke right here. And this Wild Sea King, which is a very, very nice find. And I'm almost back to the beginning of the trail, right where it goes underneath the road, and I have found a Psyduck. Awesome. These aren't the most convenient gems. Check out my other videos if you want to find easier to get to gems. But um, these gems were not a bad walk. It was maybe 15 minutes back once I stopped recording. And I was pretty pleased with the Pokemon I got along the way uh, some harder to find Pokemon some good water Pokemon because I was near a uh, river now uh, once I did get off that paved trail though it did get muddy and it did get bug infested so you might want to bring some old shoes you might want to bring some insect repellent but uh, again if you're a nature type of person want to walk in the woods these are pretty good gems um, now that's not the only access point to those walking trails there is another access point at historic bethabra and i'll probably be checking out historic bethabra in another video pretty soon but anyway subscribe for some more uh, pokemon go videos in winston-salem and i'll see you next time